it's Elizabeth from Product Sims here. One of the most common questions I get is, Elizabeth, why is first time user experience so insanely difficult? Let's break down who you are. You are a pre-seed, a seed founder, or you're someone with less than a million in revenue. You are intensely, intensely interested in this problem. So much so that a lot of the nuance of solving that problem are ingested within you. You've been interested in this problem for two, three, four years, and then you raise some money or you start, you build a product and you release it out to the world and you get revenue. Customers sign up for your product. They're like, meh, this is like a mediocre experience. And then they hop off. And you as a founder who has spent so much time raising money, being, being so interested in the problem, talking to users and throughout all of that, you get so embroiled in what the product should be that you forget how difficult it is to come onto the product and change behavior just initially to get people to open your emails is one of the hardest things. How do you give success every step of the way? So you hire, your marketing, your growth, your sales, your product, your engineering, you get back your first time user experience lens. And those heads, those VPs, whatever their titles are, are working intensely on creating metrics that satisfy the pirate metrics that make it that you can actually have a converting funnel. And then they work at the company for months, for years, and they lose that lens. And this is where then, then the product team usually gets stuck with like all of these different product metrics. And they're like, well, we don't have a re user research process in place. You can get back your, your, your first time user experience lens with some user research. But what about how nuanced the product is? Like usually by that time, if you have so many different heads going around, your product is like 20, 50, 100 features. Like these products are no longer small. They are big behemoth, massive things that all have 50 plus features. And you as the first time you're coming on as a user, you're like, whoa, I'm super overwhelmed. One of the questions that I have is, whose role, job, responsibility is it to create the first time user experience? And the person that it always comes down to is the product person. But the product person is literally creating the product for people who are sold. People who are, hey, I'm buying this product no matter what you guys do. This is fantastic. You solved my problem. And so it's insanely, insanely difficult to create a product and to create the first time user experience. They're totally different lenses. Some companies have created a first time user experience team, like an onboarding team. And those people will be underneath customer success because, well, when you sign up for a trial, it's usually a customer problem. I don't think it's any of that. I think it's actually a growth problem, a marketing problem, a sales problem, because all those different channels, yes, you're so focused on giving lead traffic to the product. The product metrics don't just start when a user comes onto a website. Our product needs to be when a user has paid for the digital product for whatever they're paying for. And therefore like all of your product metrics need to be at that point because it's just way too difficult to get a first time user experience lens. One of the things I'm thinking about is how do you get that onus, that responsibility, not onto just the product team because this is a, this is a effort from everyone. How do you make a first time user experience that can also be owned by marketing, by growth, by sales? And how do you distribute that responsibility? Because that's how we failed in the first place because the responsibility was with product. And then everyone was like, well, I'm doing my job. <laughs> anyway, that's my theory as to why first time user experiences are insanely difficult to create. Oh my gosh, you made it to the end. Okay. I need another tagline, but thank you so much for watching this video. You are obviously amazing because you've actually listened to this entire diet tribe and we're so happy to have you. So if you liked it, please, please comment below. Tell me, tell me what you disagree on. Like there's a lot of points that I touched on that are very, very disagreeable. And I'm sure that lots of people have opinions on, on, you know, where all the different teams, where the gaps, the walls are between the different teams. So I would love to hear about that. If you have an idea for a product that we should do a first time user experience on, 
please send us a shout out at judgmentdayaproductmindset.xyz. And then, yeah, if you like these videos, please subscribe, please like us, and uh, yeah, hope to see you guys again.